In this video we will discuss on physical or mechanical weathering. Mechanical weathering is the physical disintegration and reduction in the size of the rocks without changing their chemical composition. This include exfoliation. Exfoliation is a mechanical weathering process whereby pressure in a rock is released along parallel alignments near the surface of the bedrock. And layers or slabs of the rock along these alignments break off from the bedrock and move downhill by gravity. The next form of physical weathering is frost wedging. Frost wedging is a mechanical weathering process caused by the freeze-thaw action of water that is trapped between cracks in the rock. When water freezes, it expands and applies pressure to the surrounding rock forcing the rock to accommodate the expansion of the ice. This process gradually weakens, cracks, and breaks the rock through repetitive freeze-thaw weathering cycles. Another form of physical weathering is temperature changes. Daily or diurnal and seasonal temperature changes affect certain minerals and facilitates the mechanical weathering of bedrock. Warmer temperatures may cause some minerals to expand, and cooler temperatures cause them to contract. This gradual expansion and contraction of mineral grains weakens the rock causing it to break apart into smaller fragments or to fracture. This process is more common in desert climates because they experience extreme fluctuations in daily temperature changes. Temperature changes are often not the dominant form of weathering, but instead temperature changes tend to accelerate other forms of weathering already occurring. We also have salt wedging. Salt wedging occurs when salts crystallize out of solution as water evaporates. As the salt crystals grow, they apply pressure to the surrounding rock weakening it, until it eventually cracks and breaks down, enabling the salt crystal to continue growing. Salt wedging is most common in drier climates such as deserts. The last but not the least is abrasion. Abrasion occurs when rocks collide against each other while they are transported by water, glacial ice, wind, or gravitational force. During abrasion, rocks may also weather the bedrock surface they are coming into contact with as well as breaking into smaller particles and eventually individual grains. That's all for today's video. If you found it very interesting please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye, see you next time.